John Steinbeck was born on February 27, 1902, in Salinas, California. His father, John Ernst Steinbeck, was a manager at Sperry Flour Mill. His mother, Olive Hamilton, was a former school teacher. Steinbeck had two older sisters, Esther and Beth, and one younger sister, Mary. Working in nearby ranches and exploring the California countryside created a vision which would be implemented in his later works, such as East of Eden. After graduating from Salinas High School in 1919, Steinbeck enrolled in Stanford University as an intended English major. However, he would drop out of Stanford in 1925 and become a freelance writer. He then met Carol Henning in San Jose, who would assist Steinbeck in his writing through love and money. After writing a few unsuccessful novels, Steinbeck broke through with Tortilla Flat in 1935, which chronicled the adventures of Monterey Pisanos, or peasants in Spanish or Italian ethnic origins. His second success, Of Mice and Men, was written in 1937, about two men striving to own their own ranch. The novel was transposed into a play, and won the Circle Critics Drama Award. Steinbeck's biggest success occurred in 1939 with Grapes of Wrath. Grapes of Wrath is about an Oklahoma family trying to survive in California during the peak of the Great Depression. The book sold 10,000 copies per week and won the Pulitzer Prize in 1940. Both books bring points from Steinbeck's own life. Of Mice and Men and Grapes of Wrath were both based on Steinbeck's own experiences in California during the Great Depression. The story, imagery, and characters were shaped by the world in which he grew up in and experienced his life. For a moment, Lenny lay quiet, and then he said hopefully, We're gonna work on a ranch, George. Before Steinbeck left Salinas to write, he worked as a manual laborer in order to support himself. Many of his characters drew inspiration from his friends, loved ones, and observed strangers. Of Mice and Men is able to highlight a natural political and social hierarchy, which is exemplified on the ranch. The main levels include people who are calm and collected that naturally demand respect, such as George, people who are just followers, such as Candy, and people who take what they want with brute strength, such as Curly. I hate that kind of bastard, George said. I seen plenty of them. Like the old guy says, Curly don't take no chances. He always wins. The social hierarchy on the ranch mirrors the social hierarchy all across America during the Great Depression due to the worker-boss relationships. Because of the mass shortage of work, bosses and employers could do whatever they wanted because the workers would have nowhere else to go. Also, the police supported the employers and often used force to control unwanted migrant workers. Overall, however, people were more inclined to follow level-headed leaders rather than brutish bosses. Steinbeck's novels also highlighted philosophical and religious perspectives of the time. One way in which Of Mice and Men references religion is in its parallels to biblical stories. George and Lenny's relationship in particular reflects Cain and Abel's relationship in the Bible. George and Lenny are like brothers, but eventually George kills Lenny so that he can get further in his own life. And George raised the gun and steadied it and he brought the muzzle of it close to the back of Lenny's head. The hand shook violently, but his face set, and his hand steadied. He pulled the trigger. The crash of the shot rolled up the hills and rolled down again. Lenny jarred, and then settled slowly forward to the sand, and he lay without quivering. Steinbeck's novels weaved many layers of his own life and social politics. He insight and powerful influence would help him win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1962. In his acceptance speech, Steinbeck talked about how literature has changed and how it has affected society. Steinbeck died on December 20th, 1968, of a heart attack. He left behind his third wife, Elaine Scott Steinbeck, and his son, Thomas Steinbeck. But he also left behind the great works of literature, which represented the time period of the Great Depression in American culture. <laughs>